Hello, my name is Angie, and this is my presentation on user-centered design and architecture, ideal method cards in the basis scope of architectural practice. So I took the ideal method cards and I combined them with the standard architectural scope of practice. IDEO is a design office that focuses on user-centered design. They have produced these method cards, which are a set of methods that designers can use in their process. There are 51 cards in the deck. This is the scope of services outlined by the Canadian Handbook of Architectural Practice. This is an overall list of services an architect may offer a client, and it is divided into phases. Usually, clients and architects will pick from these items to create their own process that they will bill for under contract. My experience is that architects do most of these and will repeat certain steps within a phase until they receive client sign-off. For this project, I have highlighted the services that may include aspects of research and might be appropriate places to incorporate user-centered design methods. Here is the list showing only the highlighted areas. As you can see, there were more research services early on in the process. I then took the IDEO cards and organized them into groups that seemed to fit within the architectural process. I then went through the scope and inserted methods that could fit. In this study, I didn't reuse any methods just to see if I could find a place for as many methods as possible. As I did this, I found that some fit more easily than others. This is pre-design, which is probably where many of the IDEO methods would really fit well. So this is schematic design. As you can see, there is more blue here, which is the design element. Within each of these areas, there is room for interpretation by a designer, as in architectural schematic design could involve various design methods. By this stage, I was running out of methods, but as you can see, there are still lots of opportunity for the methods and, evaluate and evaluation is becoming more important. Later in the design process, the concepts change a little. Design becomes more detailed, and an evaluation and refining of previous ideas becomes more important. Near the end of the process, there are fewer opportunities for research, but there are still some. In terms of observing, these can be related to obs observations that can help with project events at, even after construction, resolving changes and issues that come up on the way, and further detail in design. So after this study, here are many, my conclusions about the method cards. Basically, 5 out of 50 methods that I found are already commonly used in architecture. Ideal methods are about the designer truly understanding and empathizing with the user. For this reason, it's critical that this research is done by the designer, not a third party. Most ideal methods are about some sort of observation or research. Not much observation opportunity in architectural scope of services, especially later in the process. And there could be more methods for analysis, design process, and evaluation methods. Not all IDEO observing methods work for architecture throughout the process, but user-centered design methods further in the process might be helpful to resolve disagreements, refine the design, create and create confidence. Also, client meetings, public meetings, presentation, and consultant meetings are the most obvious places for the IDEO methods to be incorporated. Overall, I think there is a lot of potential for these types of design methods to be used within a common architectural scope of practice.